How Pandora Works. Hey Hannah. Hey Tom. I found this cool song on Pandora. Oh really? How did you find it? I just typed in this song I like and it came up. I wonder how it knew you would like it. Beats me. Maybe satellites are listening to what we're saying. Or maybe they have ESP. Hmm. I wish there was someone we could ask. Hi, I'm Dr. Mobius, and I'm your topologist for today. Topology! Topology is the study of properties that are maintained despite the stretching and deformity of an object, as long as it's not torn or glued. Today, the branch of topology we will focus on is network topology. This is the continuity of the connections between different parts of a computer, physical, or social network. Topology of Music Recommendation Networks Definitions Network A set of nodes represented by dots Degree or case of I of a vertex is just the number of connections between them. Bracketed K is the average case of I of all vertices. Degree distribution, P of K, is the proportion of nodes having that degree of K. That's just my crazy cat Earl. Sorry. These can have several shapes. Regular, which is a constant distribution with an equal number of connections between each node. You could have random shape, which represents the Poisson distribution with an unrelated number of connections between each node. Scale free is a distribution using the power law, where a few nodes hold a greater number of connections and serve as hubs. Another important term is the average shortest path. This is the shortest distance of a connection between two nodes, such as I and J. This equation shows how to compute it where n is the number of nodes and every pair of vertices is subbed to give the average path distance. So what does that actually look like? An example is the minimal amount of clicks on web pages it would take to get to a desired web page. To this, which is the clustering coefficient. For the whole network, the clustering coefficient is determined by this equation, which has the clustering coefficient average over the number of nodes. The last definition you will want to know is the small world network. In this network, the shortest path is low and the clustering coefficient is high. Humans are said to function best in this network. When the number of nodes is high, and the network is sparse, it is easy for someone to jump to their desired destination using low numbers of hops. What does that have to do with Pandora picking my brain? The two main methods used for recommendation networks are collaborative filtering or human experts. Collaborative filtering is automatically filtering information in order to predict what a user will be interested in. The first kind of collaborative filtering is user-based. This deals with ratings by multiple users and using similar ratings between them to predict interests. Item-based is using a matrix to compare relationships between them to get an idea of someone's taste. As an example, Amazon uses this type of collaborative filtering. What about human experts? Why would you want to use them? I can tell you that! Cool! It's Tim Westergren! Tim Westergren, born in 1965 in Minneapolis, Minnesota. He went to Stanford University and got a bachelor's in political science. He worked as a record producer for 20 years, working mainly with emerging artists and independent labels. He started Pandora with co-founders Will Glasser and John Kraft. Tim used an algorithm 
in order to get Pandora to work. An algorithm is simply a list of instructions that creates an output. It's basically just an if-then statement. So what's the algorithm, Tim? Tim! Tim! Tell us! Sorry, that's top secret. Genre, user connections, or ratings are not used in the Music Genome Project or Pandora Radio. It uses genes instead. There are over 400 different attributes that are analyzed in order to classify the different genes. Melody, harmony, rhythm, form, composition, and lyrics are all just a few. It took 30 experts over five years to complete the work at the time it was started. This means it took about 20 to 30 minutes per song for each expert to analyze it. The experts graded each attribute on a scale of one to five to aid in matching. There were four main categories that the experts classified the songs into. They were pop, jazz, rap, hip-hop, and electronica, and world music. For an example of how it would work, an artist such as Ben Folds would be selected and a song would be analyzed. That song's genome would be pulled up in the database and an algorithm would be used to compare the song to its genetic makeup. Over 400 parameters were matched for that song. This would enable the database to bring up another song that was similar in attributes. Oh, I get it, but why not use ratings? There are a few reasons why human expert analysis is used by Pandora instead of collaborative filtering. The first reason is that the kind of music people listen to can be based on their culture. This means that ratings or votes can be biased towards what is popular in a specific culture. The second reason is that ratings or scoring cannot be as specific to the interest of a single user. The third reason is that collaborative filtering is not a good option when there's a large variation of interest, such as that which is seen in music recommendation. One way that Pandora could be improved is by teaching a computer to hear a human. This would eliminate the number of experts it would take to analyze each song. Questions answered. Okay, so it wasn't ESP. Or satellites. I guess it was just all this topology stuff. 